then we have two type 1D22 hydrogen spark gaps that were used in the old Western electric radars just after World War II. These provide what's called negative resistance. These provide what's called negative resistance just after World War II. Now the output of this device is determined what's normally considered the ground. You actually can pump several amperes of current into the ground, but it doesn't draw any energy from the power supply, so it still remains totally relevant. Negative resistance, which accelerates the rate of discharge of the capacitor into a coil and tends to maintain the oscillation just after World War II. It's kind of hard for people to see, but there's a square of time just after World War II. So mechanical quantities such as force, power, and energy can be expressed in not more than three fundamental units. One, length. Two, time. And three, mass. There's a pressure being thrown out of this mass. It might be kind of hard for people to see, but there's a square of time. C squared times larger than the electrostatic unit, where C is the velocity of light. Thank you. 
Pencil neck. Don't tell me how to do mine. 